2018 has been such a good year to be a fan of Splatoon. I would say that 2018 has been the best year to be a fan of the series. Yes, 2015 and 2017 have to be up there because that is when we did get brand new games in the series. But for me, in my opinion, 2018 has been the best year to be a Splatoon fan based on all of the stuff we have had. Of course, Splatoon is now represented in Super Smash Bros. It is so cool to see Inklings as a playable character. It is really cool to see the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. It's really cool to see Marae Towers as one of the stages as well. But in terms of Splatoon 2, we have had so much content released for the game this year. Of course, Calais returned in April with the 3.0 update. We have pretty much had a stage releasing once a month. I would say it's probably only about three months of the year where we haven't had a brand new stage. We have had brand new weapons added to the game, brand new special weapons, brand new sub weapons. There has just been so much stuff added to the game. We have had Splatfest revamped. We have had Splatfest events. We have had Splatfest tournaments. We, of course, have had awesome new music. We have had music from new bands like This Pair and Sashi More, but also fan favourites like Chirpy Chips has returned to the universe as well it's just so cool to see that sort of stuff it really is of course we have had brand new amiibo come out as well and of course the biggest one is the dlc we got single player dlc and yeah it was just so good seriously the octo expansion was just so good value for money it really was and as a result of that we got playable octolings which is one of the features that the community has been requesting for like three years so 2018 it's just been such a good year it really has how can 2019 top that how can it possibly top what has been for me the best year to be a splatoon fan and to be honest with you 2019 can't possibly top 2018 it just can't just because it seems like 2019 will be a much quite a year for Splatoon 2. It seems like 2019 will be the year where support will slowly run down. It will slowly begin to get a lot more quieter. The only things that we will be getting is balance updates and Splatfest. Unfortunately, we will not be getting weapons, stages, content like new Octoling hairstyles. I think that can be ruled out now. 2019, it does seem to be a much quieter year. I think the only things we will be getting is the balance updates once a month and Splatfest. It does seem like we will be getting two more Splatfest events based on what has been discovered in the files of the game. So we do have that to look forward to as well as the final Splatfest. Maybe one of those events will be the final Splatfest that we will be getting in July 2019. I think maybe we will get more news in between now and July. We still need to know how we will be getting Super Sea Snails when Splatfest do end. So we need to learn about stuff like that. We need to learn about what will happen to Shifty Station. What will happen to all of those Shifty Station stages that we have played on on all of the Splatfest so far. So. We still need to learn about that, but apart from that, I don't think we will get that much news dropping in 2019 compared to 2018. 2018 has been such a busy year for my channel. Seriously, I've just been kept really busy with covering all of the stuff that has been added to the game. It's just been such a good time for my channel because, of course, I am a massive fan of the Splatoon IP, it is one of my favourite gaming franchises of all time, that is just how much of a fan of the game I am. So yeah, 2018 has been a really good time for my channel, I just 
want to thank everybody who has watched any one of my videos this year. Seriously, I have been blown away by the level of support I have had this year on the channel. At the start of the year, I was way below 10,000 subscribers. I was probably around about 8,000 subscribers. Now, at the end of the year, I am approaching 22,000 subscribers. So I'd just like to thank everybody who has watched my videos. Seriously, I have had so much fun making my Your Theories series where I talk about your ideas for the Octo Expansion DLC. I've had so much fun covering all of the news and covering everything that has gone on in the world of Splatoon. Seriously, I've just been blown away by the amount of support on the videos. My videos have had something like between 2,000 and 100,000 views. It has just been such an incredible year for the channel. What will be happening in terms of 2019 is that I will still be covering Splatoon 2 news, but like what I said before, I think news will get quieter and quieter as content is sort of ended now, like big new content has sort of ended, but I will still be posting news roundups when we do get Splatfest announced. I will be covering the balance updates, but news roundups, which is pretty much what I have mainly done on the channel this year, they will definitely slow down in 2019 because I don't think news will drop as much in 2019. So as a replacement for that, I will be doing a brand new Splatoon 2 series. So pretty much my channel in 2019 it will still be mainly focused on Splatoon 2 but I'm expecting that there will not be as much Splatoon 2 stuff to cover next year so that will give me a little bit of space to cover other games if I want to I definitely want to cover the next Pokemon game when that does come out for the Switch I probably might cover Smash DLC I definitely wanted to cover Smash Ultimate leading up to the launch of that game but I have just been so busy covering everything Splatoon 2 I just didn't get the time to make the videos that I wanted to in terms of Smash Ultimate so pretty much my channel will still be Splatoon focused next year in 2019 I will still be playing the game especially leading up to the final Splatfest leading up to July 2019 but there probably might be space for me to cover other games as well. But my main focus will still be on Splatoon. A lot of my time will be on the brand new series that I have had in mind since April. But yeah, the point of this video, Splatoon 2 in 2019, unfortunately, I think it will seem like the game will be dead compared to this year. Content it will not be dropping as much for Splatoon 2 in 2019 compared to 2018 but seriously I just can't really grumble in what I think will be a lack of content in 2019 based on all of the stuff we have had in 2018 at the start of the year I made a few videos talking about how I wanted to see Caddy returning I wanted to see playable Octolings, I wanted to see a single player DLC. For us to get all of those three things and a lot more, it has definitely blown away my expectations. I have just been having so much fun with the game this year, I really have. Yeah, of course, I will still be having fun playing the game in 2019. It's just that, like what I said, I don't think 2019 will be as active for the game. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. What do you expect to come from Splatoon 2 in 2019? Do you think that maybe we could be getting more updates for the game? I know Nintendo did say that updates have ended in December. But who knows, maybe Nintendo could change their mind in January, for example, in their January Direct we get a Splatoon trailer and we get like a glimpse of what will be coming up in the future of the game. Maybe we could be getting all of the Splatoon 1 stages. Maybe we could be getting new Octoling hairstyles. I think that is a little bit pie in the sky. I don't really expect that sort of thing to happen. But let me know your thoughts. 
What do you think will be coming from Splatoon 2 in 2019? I think all what we will be getting is just balance updates, Splatfest, Splatfest events and news on what will be happening to all of the shifty station stages and a way for us to earn Super Sea Snails outside of Splatfest. We did get a way to earn Super Sea Snails when Splatfest did end for the first game. So I expect us to get a way to earn Super Sea Snails. That is pretty much what I expect to happen in Splatoon 2 in 2019. I think it will be a much quieter year. But of course, I will be covering everything Splatoon 2 in 2019 however much stuff we do get of course I will be there covering everything that we do get in 2019 like what I have done in 2018 so this is probably going to be one of the last Splatoon discussion videos I do make for a while I feel like I have covered all of the potential possible Splatoon topics. I feel like if I do make more discussion videos, I would just be repeating what I have already said. I definitely don't want to repeat video topics just for the sake of making a video for the channel. So if we do get anything new to talk about, if anything new does pop up in the community for me to talk about, then of course I will discuss that on the channel and of course news roundups will still be coming but they will probably be coming few and far between they definitely won't be daily as they were at one point in 2018 they probably will just be coming up maybe once a week maybe even once every two weeks or three weeks it all depends on how much news we do get but if we do get interviews and stuff like that then I will cover that on the channel so that is it for this video it has been like a channel update but also it's just me talking about what I expect us to get in 2019 and yeah I don't expect us to get that much at all and yeah I really I'm looking forward to what will be coming in 2019 I'm looking forward to finally starting work on this series that I have had in mind since April this year I just didn't have the time to make the series due to all of the stuff that I covered on the channel in 2018 but in 2019 because it probably will be quieter I now have much more time or hope to have much more time to make that Splatoon 2 series but anyway I've been trying to end this video for like the last five minutes and now it is time for me to press that stop button otherwise this video would go on for like half an hour 40 minutes maybe even an hour long so time for me to press that stop button yeah hopefully i will see you in my next video